Hi, this is Terry with Palomar College Academic Technology. Let's talk about music backgrounds and also soundtracks in videos and Windows Live Movie Maker. Uh, this product is made for the home consumer market, bear in mind, and what it's really meant to do is allow home users to put their video clips and still photos uh, together, put some background music behind them, add some transitions and special effects, and produce a movie. Okay, We're using it for academic purposes, but I can still see situations where you might want to add background music. Maybe you've taken a field trip to the tide pools or Yellowstone or whatever it might be. You've got a whole bunch of still photos, uh, but you want to liven up your show uh, when you show it in class or to your club or to a committee meeting. So you want to add some background music. Okay, here's how you would go about doing that. Uh, the first thing I'd like to point out is that in my storyboard, I have a title slide. I have some video clips, some still photos, and then some credits at the end. My strong recommendation to you is that if you are going to add music, make sure that you've constructed your entire project first with titles, credits, captions, all of the assets that are, that are going to be in the pro project uh, set to their correct times, uh, that is durations, uh, should be there in before you put the music. I have experienced producing um, or creating a project uh, putting the music in and then adding other assets and having to try to adjust the music and you just do not have fine control of how you can insert and control music in this program. So it's better to have the entire project uh, all together and then add your music. Okay, with that said, notice that my playhead is at the beginning of the movie, that uh, black vertical line over here in the storyboard pane. I come up to my home tab, click the drop down under add music and I have two choices add music add music at the current point uh, they both amount to the same thing uh, at this point in the video so let's go ahead and add music and these are the three sample songs that come along with Windows 7 and let's take a look at this first song I'm going to right click it choose properties details and note that it lasts for 5 minutes and 48 seconds. Okay. Let's pull this down here and take a look at how long our movie lasts. Ah, 4 minutes and 28 seconds. So our song is going to be about a minute longer than our video. Well, let's go ahead and insert it anyway. And what Movie Maker does for us is uh, cut that song to end at the time the video ends. It won't leave a minute of video, a minute of audio playing after the video ends. So it does that for you. Okay. Um, the question, the next question that will arise is, um, what do you do uh, if you want to add a different song somewhere in the midst of your production? That's pretty simple. Let's say we want to start a new song right before this video clip. Let's come up to our music tools now and set an end point for this first song. Okay, we've ended it at the end of this still photo. Now come back to the Home tab. Let's come up to Add Music, and Add Music at Current Point now has meaning. And let's go ahead and grab this Sleep Away song. Okay. Now, what if we want that song to end and add yet another track right at the beginning of this one? Same procedure. Let's select this thing. Move our playhead to where we want to end it. Come up to Music Tools and set an endpoint. Okay. Back to the Home tab. Add Music. Add Music at Current Point and pick yet a different song. Okay, so you can see how Movie Maker will uh, work with you and let you place as many different songs as background music as you wish. I'm coming up and selecting our first song. I click on it and you can see the dark border around that indicator, that background song indicator. And I'm coming up to Music Tools now. Whenever you've added background music, you have Music Tools available to you. Let's take a quick look at our controls here. Music Volume is one of them and uh, you can control this as you wish, but I will uh, tell you that you can only control the entire track 
the volume of the entire track. You can't play part of the track uh, loud, play part of it softly, play another part loud. Uh, this, is, this control applies to the entire track, so to achieve an effect that I just described, you'd have to add multiple versions of the track. Okay. Also, a good idea is to always fade into your music. Let's fade in in a medium way, and we'll fade out fast. And those fade in, fade out effects will apply to uh, this song, and uh, there is no indicator in our storyboard that we've done that. You just have to take it on faith that that's what has happened. Now let's go to our next song. And the reason I just I put this next song behind a video clip is I want to control its uh, volume so that I can hear the audio on the video clip. So let's go to Music Tools. We'll once again fade in, fade out. But we'll take our volume and we'll bring it way down so that the audio track can be heard behind this video clip. Okay, remember it applies to the entire clip. And with our next track, we would probably want to fade in and fade out. Let's fade out slow this time behind the credits. And that's the sort of control work that you do when you're working with music in Windows Movie Maker. And uh, once again, if you choose a video clip, come up to Video Tools, you see you can also control the audio uh, volume in the video clip. Now this is the soundtrack of the audio. Uh, there is no indicator that it exists in Movie Maker. It does exist though, and this is how you control its volume. You can also fade in, fade out on that one. Okay. If you adjust the speed of the clip, if you slow it down or speed it up, the audio track will be suppressed in Windows Live Movie Maker. You won't hear the audio track. Okay. Okay, so that's how it works. And it's pretty simple. You don't have a lot of fine control, but uh, if you want to add music or if you want to control the volume of your soundtracks, that's how you would do it. Thanks for listening.